Praise the Lord, dear viewers. We want to thank God so much for this day. We always thank God for each one of you, for the grace that he has given you through our Lord Jesus Christ. Today, we'd like to welcome you to yet another edition of Church Online. And as we begin, we'd like to commit this service to the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for each one of us. And we thank you for our dear viewers. We ask you that you lead us from the beginning and that you heal us. And let all glory go to you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 57 says, Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, let's give thanks to God today. That man may celebrate his name today. Let's arise and give God glory wherever we are. Call the children, children and adults alike. Let's arise and celebrate the name of Jesus Christ today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We are going to praise his name. I want to assure you that... It's going to be a wonderful experience in His praises. And I don't want you to miss out. Please gather those that are in the kitchen, the bathroom, your bedroom. Come, let's praise Jesus. He's worthy of all our praises. Hallelujah. Take all the praise, take all the praise, take all the praise. 
take all the praise, take all the praise, take all the praise, take all the praise. You deserve, take all, take all the praise, take all the praise. I have come to say thank you, Lord. mountain of God Tamira, Tamira to come with thanksgiving and joy in our heart Tamira, Tamira oh this is a call from the mountain of God Tamira, Tamira to come with thanksgiving and joy in our heart Tamira, Tamira let's fill the streets with love and shake this world alive with singing the celebrations now for the time to dance has come Tambira Jehovah Tambira 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 Jehovah oh, Tambira Jehovah Tambira 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 Jehovah Tambira Jehovah Jesus, your best dance. Hallelujah. He's worthy of all our praises. None can be compared to him. Lift him up. Exalt him. Hallelujah. Celebrate.
of all our praises. You're worthy of all the glory and the honor. We just want to exalt your name. We want to lift your name for there is none that can be compared to you. You alone are God. We exalt your name. You're worthy, Jesus. We give you glory, Lord. We give you all the honor. Oh, 
be praised. We praise your holy name and we give you glory. Thank you for loving us and thank you for being our king. Thank you for being our healer and our savior. And we ask you to heal every person who is sick and is viewing this service. We pray that you heal them. Father, we pray that you open the windows of heaven and supply them, oh God, with divine provision. We pray for protection and cover upon each and every viewer, children and adults alike, oh God. May your name be exalted today and may your name be praised forever and ever. And may we all say, Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. That was a very spirited worship. And I believe that you enjoyed the worship. And if you did, I'd like you to say, Amen. We're well, once again Deliverance Church Kololo, and we are online right now. How we love that we can have you here at church, but we believe that God is going to bring us back very soon. and We will celebrate and fellowship together. And now, I'd like to encourage you that you can continue to give using the numbers you see at the bottom of the screen. May the Lord bless you as you give. And one very important announcement that we'd like to remind you of is that Deliverance Church Uganda has made a call for prayer. We will pray and fast from the 1st up to the 14th of July. And our prayer time and our fasting time will be from 6 a.m. until 6 p.m. We'd like you to encourage young people to join with you and then let's pray together, trust God and believe Him. And we know that he's going to do a great thing in our midst. And now it's time that we are going to listen to the word of God. Get your notebooks, get your pens, get your Bibles, and let's join the pastor and listen to the word of God. Be blessed as you listen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I greet you all in the name of Jesus this morning. You're welcome to this service this morning as we hear God's word. Amen. I'm going to read today from a book of Genesis, chapter 12, verse 1 to 5, and verse 7, and part of verse 8. The Bible says, The Lord had said to Abraham, Go from your country, your people, and your father's household to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you, I will curse, and all people on earth will be blessed through you. So Abraham, Ab Abraham went as the Lord had told him, and the Lord went with him. Abraham was 75 years 
when he set off from Haran. So he took his wife, Sarai, his nephew, Lord, all the possessions he had accumulated, all the people they had acquired in Haran. And they set out for the land of Canaan, and they arrived there. Verse 7, the Lord appeared to Abram and said to your offspring, I will give this land. So he built an altar there to the Lord who had appeared to him. Verse 8b, there he built the altar to the Lord and called upon the name of the Lord. Amen. Today we are seeing that our father Abraham, the father of faith, would like to see some lessons. We would like to learn some lessons from this man of God, Abraham, where we have just read Genesis 12. Some lesson number one. He obeyed God by faith. Abraham obeyed God by faith. English Living Bible says, English Standard Version says, Hebrews 11, 8, By faith Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to a place that he was to receive an inheritance. And he went out not knowing where he was going. Abraham moved by faith. That means he obeyed God by faith. Even us, salvation is a journey of faith. We need to trust God in everything. Have faith in God who has called you to salvation. Believe his existence. Abraham believed God that he existed. That's why he left his homeland. God is with us all the time. Obey him and obey his word. You and me can please God through our faith. Walk by faith. Continue to stand firm in faith. Don't give up. Hebrews 11, 6 says, Without faith it is impossible to please God. Whoever would draw near God must believe that he exists and he rewards those who seek him. Whatever situation, believe God to perform a miracle. Faith is trusting God all the time. You need to know, walk by faith like Abraham did, as we have received the salvation. Trust God. Don't give up in your salvation. Number two, the lesson number two, which we can learn from Abraham, he prayed to the Lord who appeared to him. Verse 7 to verse 8, we have seen Abraham prayed to God. He called upon God. Abraham maintained a relationship with God through prayer. He called on the Lord who appeared to him. We, we should continue to pray to God who has called us to salvation the same way. We should also continue to call upon the name of the Lord. Pray to him. Abraham prayed and called upon him in the altar. Even in our altars at home, continue to call upon the name of the Lord. In all times, God answers prayer and he works through prayer. Intercede for others. Abraham did that. Also intercede for the nation. Pull down the strongholds as you pray. The same way Abraham maintained a relationship with God, God desires we also maintain our relationship with him through prayer. Abraham believed in prayer, so to us too. Let us continue to pray to God, and God answers prayer. So the same way as we are Christians, we need to continue to believe God and continue to pray. In prayer, God works through prayer. Point number two, which we can learn, from the lesson of Abraham, we can see Abraham gave a tithe to God. Genesis chapter 14, verse 18 to 20, the Bible tells us, Emil said that the king of Salem brought out bread and wine. He was a priest of God, the Most High. He blessed him and said, Blessed be Abraham, by God Most High, the possessor of heaven and earth. Blessed be God, Most High, who has delivered your enemies into your hand. Abraham gave him a tenth of everything 
That means Abraham gave a tenth to God. Tithing, Abraham believed in tithing. Even as Christians today, what we can learn from Abraham is was a tither. That means we need to tithe to God. We need to continue tithing to God. As Abraham did, obeyed God in tithing. Everything we possess belongs to God. If you love God, you need to tithe. Tithing means you put God first in your life. What should I tithe? My salary. That means you tithe from your salary. Not net, but you tithe gross. And uh, you can also tithe from your produce. Your maize, for example, granuts, etc. If you are a business person, you tithe from your profits. If you uh, have rentals, for instance, you also give a tithe from what you get. If you don't tithe, you are a robber. The Bible says, Malachi 3, 8. To receive a blessing from God, we need to continue exercising obedience in tithing. God desires we continue exercising obedience in tithing. Amen. Number four, the lesson we can draw from Abraham as he obeyed God, we see here, Abraham di uh, discipled the people in his household. Genesis 14, verse 14 says, When Abraham heard that his relative had been taken captive, he called out the 318 trained men born in his household and went in pursuit as far as Dan. Train or disciple other people in the word of God. Like Abraham did, he discipled people in his household. Disciple other people who will take the gospel to another generation. Let us make disciples in our homes or in our workplaces, etc. God's desire that we continue to make disciples. Abraham trained 318 people. That means we need also to be disi make disciples as we serve the Lord. Number five, what we learn again about Abraham's life, his hospitality, his hospitality, chapter 18 of Genesis, verse 1 to 8, we see Abraham welcomed visitors in his home. Let us also to continue to do good works in welcoming others in our homes. Matthew chapter 10 verse 42 says, If anyone gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones who is my disciple, truly I tell you, that person will certainly not lose their reward. That means if we welcome visitors and we support them, we shall not lose a reward on the last day. God desires that we continue welcoming other people to our homes and blessing them. That is God's idea, like what Abraham did. Number six, what we learned, another lesson we can learn from Abraham, Abraham, through testing, remained focused on God. Abraham through testing, he remained focused on God. Genesis chapter 22, verse 1 to 2. The Bible says, sometime later, God tested Abraham. Abraham. That means his name now had changed from Abraham to Abraham. The father of all nations, the Bible says. And he said to Abraham, here I am, he replied. Then God said to your only son, you love Isaac. Go to the region of Moria and sacrifice him as a burnt offering on the mountain. I will show you. Amen. Va yeah. Another book, James 1, verse 12 says, Blessed is, is the one who perseveres under trial, because having stood the test, that the person will receive a crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. Abraham was tested in this situation to sacrifice his son. That was a test to him. 
And we see he remained focused on God even in that testing. Testing comes to us to mature us in the Lord. That means a test comes from the Lord. Temptation comes from the devil. But we need to know all this will show us how we love God. When we persevere in hardship, we shall get a crown of life. There may be, you may be going through hardship right now. But when you remain in the Lord until the end, you will re receive the crown of life. The Bible continues to tell us when we remain in the Lord, we shall be rewarded with the crown of life. You may be going through a test of life right now, as I've said, wondering whether God is with you. When you are going through a hard time, you wonder whether God is with you. Or you feel like you have been forsaken. God is no longer working in your life. Maybe he has left you because you are going through challenges. I want to encourage you. Take courage. His presence is with you. God will never leave us, even in difficult lives. Even when we are going through a challenge in life, he's going through with you. Abraham, through test, he remained trusting in God. What you are going through right now, the difficulty, the trials you are going through, remain trusting in God. Because in everything, God is aware and is with you. Even as we remain trusting in God, through test, that means in our lives, let us focus to trust in the Lord, even in those trials. Abraham remained trusting in God. Even us, let us remain trusting in God in our life through testings. Sometimes you will be tested in many ways. Your children, your life, your job, in, the, in your body being tested. Sometimes you get sick, you get challenges. But in all that, you lack finances, remain focused on God. God is with you, will never forsake you. Even through uh, challenges, God is with us. His princess surrounds you. Amen. You remain strong and may God bless you. Maybe you are not born again. I would like to pray for you. And uh, you answer after me. So that you continue to believe the God of heaven who called Abraham. That you continue to walk in his ways. You answer after me. Lord Jesus, have mercy on me. Forgive me today. I invite you in my life to save me. Lord, change my life. Today I surrender everything to you. That Lord, where I've gone wrong, forgive me. Today I acknowledge I'm born again. I am saved. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name I do pray. Amen. If you have made that decision, you continue to read your Bible and continue to pray to God. Amen. Let me pray for you for a congregation who are listening to me, who are having the service this morning. May God continue to encourage you. May you be like Abraham or Abram before his name was changed to Abraham, the father of nations. May you continue to stand in the faith. May you continue to be strong. May you continue to pray. May you continue to be tithing. May you continue to be serving the Lord as we conclude. Father, I pray for your people. May you touch them, anoint them, encourage them through this week. May they be blessed whatever they touch. Use them in their office, in their homes. Cover them by the blood of Jesus. I rebuke the power of the enemy in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name I do pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, where when God is she?